All right, what's going on guys? Drew here from TechCube, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made my 360 video in Blender. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it in the description below, put a little car view up here. So I hope you could check it out if you have a moment. All it was was this uh, scene you see here in full 360. It was actually just a still image, not a video, because uh, rendering it took over two hours, because uh, it's a very graphically intensive scene with the lighting, and there's a lot of intricate details. So I just did one frame, but I still think it turned out really well. So if you have a scene similar to this, uh, I thought that you may want to check out how to make it a 360 video. Or at least a 360 image. So the first thing you want to do is have some sort of scene. And uh, what you actually want to do is make sure the camera is placed somewhere in the middle. So right now, my camera is out here where it wouldn't be too interesting because you'd see this in front and just white out here. So I want to grab it and move it somewhere in the middle. And also make sure that there's no weird rotations on it. You could clear the rotation with Alt-R. Because if it's rotated weird, then it looks like the, the person's facing down while they're actually facing forward. And then also make sure it's kind of at a standing height where you think a human may be standing. And that's it for that. Uh, you could see what it would look like here. This is just the front view. So next, uh, we actually need to change some of the settings in the camera. So if you go to our properties panel, select camera, you can see it's on perspective now. What we want is panoramic. So then we have a couple other options. We want to click fisheye ellipsoid, and we want to change it to equi rectangular. So that's it for that. Um, next, we want to change a little bit with the resolution. So if you were to render this as is, what you're going to see is kind of maybe a little fuzzy, grainy, once it's scaled up all 360. And there's a couple reasons for that. One, it's only rendering in 1080p, right here. Uh, so ideally, a 360 video or image wants to be 4K because YouTube now supports 4K and it gives you the most clear image possible. Uh, so I want to change that to 4K. Uh, if you don't know the exact numbers, you can just do times 2 for 1920 and save for 1080. And now this is actually going to render in 1080 because it has 50% resolution on. Just change that to 100% and there we go. Uh, and from here, there's a couple ways that we can go. Uh, you can either render the still image if that's all you want. So you could go here, hit save as image, once it renders, obviously. Or if you want to render a video, you can go here to output in the properties panel and select where you want to save it. Uh, and then also what you want to name it, change PNG to MPEG, as well as the encoding to MPEG4 and RGB, black and white, whatever you prefer. So that's it for that. All you got to do now is render it as an animation or as an image, however you prefer. I already have mine rendered, so I can just show you what I did after that. So right here, I have the image that showed up, and this is what you're going to get, hopefully. And you can see how it's kind of 360 panoramic like that. So what I did next was go into a standard um, into a standard video editing program and extend this frame to like 40 seconds just to do the next step. If you have a video, just go and use that. That's rather straightforward stuff. So moving on to how to make this a 360 video for YouTube, you just close it. And what you need is to download the 360 encoding tool. It's right here on this link at support.google for uploading 360 degree videos. And you want to download Mac or Windows, depending on what you have. Uh, I'll link this in the description, by the way, so you can check it out. Um, obviously, I've already downloaded Windows. Once you get that set up, follow the instructions, no big deal. And you go back to wherever you saved it, and you can see this 360 video tool and you double click it to open it up like any program wait for it to load and now all you gotta do is open up the video you had or the still image extended video that you made uh, mine was Spaceship 4K and all you gotta do is check spherical hit save as and it's gonna go and encode it for you and you're gonna wind up with what I have here Spaceship 4K underscore injected and it's basically gonna look exactly the same so before it looked like this it's just the still image, nothing's happening. And then the next one just looked the same. But if you go into YouTube and upload it, all of a sudden it's going to turn into 360, as you can see from mine. Uh, it took, because this was only 40 seconds, it took about 10 minutes to do the processing. It says that it could take up to an hour, but I'm assuming that's for longer videos. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just ask me in the discussion down below. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe for more content. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.